Hello guys and welcome. I hope that you well. My name is I play 4K, AK I play 8K, AK I play 16K or UHD King. During this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Nvidia driver problem under the desktop PCs or desktop, you know, all kind of desktop PCs that running under the Windows and all kind of different laptops it could be gaming laptop or just a regular laptop if you're going to have a video uh, video card in there there is a possibility that uh, you will end up in a problem when you cannot reinstall the nvidia driver or you cannot install the brain new driver that they just released and there is something is going on okay especially if you're using like two video cards or if you're going to remove the video cards during the servicing during the you know spraying your pcb make sure there is dust away from it with the sprayer you're going to remove all the parts to do that and before you're going to spray the motherboard pcb but anyways any type of scenarios can end up that your video card is not recognizable and it doesn't matter what kind of video card it's going to apply to all nvidia video cards released like since 2014 13 so um I was using two Titan RTXs in my case. I removed the uh, SLI, I removed the secondary Titan RTX. I was doing some tests, and uh, this Titan RTX is not recognizable. And uh, let me explain to you why it's doing that. Because NVIDIA drivers now, especially if you install it that way, comes with GeForce Experience. And GeForce Experience requires you to log in. So, whatever you're going to reinstall the driver by yourself uh, through go to download to from nvidia.com website and reinstall it click install by yourself you're going to end up in this type of problems so how to fix them you gotta uninstall the old drivers and you gotta force it and i believe nvidia doesn't in purpose because user already have some information under the login like username and the password and it's storing that so it doesn't want to piss the user so he gotta retype the login and password all the time after he hum, himself reinstalling or installing a fresh driver and uh, you gotta uninstall it look like and i'm not sure if nvidia engineers are aware of that but in especially specifically uh set up making that package set up package uh, for the windows engineer he probably not aware of that so what what's going to happen he's checking okay if the recent video driver is enabled in this system is it in, was installed okay it was installed it's already in the system but it's if you're going to reinsert the card or if you're going to put a new card or new card you know it used to be back in 2000 all the way till 2010 when you're going to insert the new card it's going to be recognized by that nvidia driver no matter you know what video card it is and it's going to be give you at least some basic abilities right now it's not the case because i believe they want to do it that way because the gaming geforce experience comes with that package it's requiring some login and for you to install the driver it's going to remove that registry data and it's going to create some complications for the user again real again and the password and they decided maybe if they're smart that it's going to give some hassle to the user and he don't want to hassle and uh, you know this is what's going to happen and uh, they don't want to do it so let's go ahead and do it manually so if you're going to install the driver not through the geforce uh gaming experience their app which is nice but if you're going to do it yourself this is what you're going to end up with so it's not going to be recognized and you're going to reinstall the driver 10 times reboot the system it's still not recognizing your video card and you you know when you pressing the right button you're not going to see in video control panel you're not going to see it right now i see it but you're not going to see it so how go ahead and fix it and it's so easy guys you're going to go ahead and press windows button on your keyboard and then the right mouse button under the start that windows logo left uh, bottom corner apps and features i'm not going to provide you the short keys there is a short keys how to do that i'm just showing you so you will understand so we got to remove that nvidia driver by ourselves we're going to remove that record and everything so um because the nvidia setup has an issue to overrate and properly install the driver it can be newer driver or it can be just the same driver okay so go ahead and find nvidia and uh, all what you gotta install video control panel um geforex experience and the driver okay 
If it's not going to work, then uninstall everything that is NVIDIA related. Just click on it and click on install and do a couple of reboots when you're doing that. It will probably ask you to go ahead and reboot it. If not, just uninstall everything and do reboot. And go again under the apps and features. Make sure there is no NVIDIA stuff over here. Then you're ready to uninstall. Go ahead and open the folder where you downloaded your NVIDIA drivers. It could be newer drivers or even the same drivers. Click on it, install it, and uh, during the installation process now, you're going to see your screen going to flicker a couple times and it's going to do the noise beep. It means everything is registry, uh, registered and everything is ready to go. And you recognize the audio through the HDMI, you recognize the video drivers and everything and the whole package is installed correctly. But before when you were reinstalling it, even with the same driver again or with a newer driver by yourself, it didn't do it somehow. And after the reboot, it didn't recognize your video card. In my case, Titan RTX, but in your case, it can be RTX 3000 series, RTX 4000 series, or even the older video cards such as Titan XP or Titan X Maxwell's. This is all where I end up with the same problem. And, uh, you know, so we're going to go ahead and fix it ourselves. And I just taught you how to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. A lot of time, money, energy was invested and I'm bringing the value, guys. Subscribe for more great videos. My YouTube channel, uhdking.com will not only about the games, it's going to be about the educational videos, video tutorials like in Photoshop, video tutorials like in 3D, uh, you know, modeling, 3D design, 3D rendering and even software development as well as game development so a lot of great videos plus the gaming content in some very nice approaches to it and yeah subscribe smash that like button share it and i will see you guys till the next videos hopefully you learned that don't forget to share